hospital school education is driven by statutory guidance from the Department for Education in England and this guidance uh, supports local authorities in discharging their responsibility for young people who because of medical needs are unable to attend their mainstream school. That guidance ensures that local authorities discharge their responsibilities but also informs practice for mainstream schools and other professionals who are working within the broad area of health and education. Willowbank School is a, a specialist provision for children who are too ill to be at school but who are well enough to leave their homes and come out and learn together. So we have a small school um, with a number of classrooms, uh, not too many, it's still a very small school, where we teach children together in small groups. Our teachers understand the nature of our children and they're very skilled at making children feel comfortable and confident and to get them back into learning again. We also have provision for children who find even our very small classes challenging. We have a learning suite and in there children can be taught with a much higher staff to pupil ratio. So our staff have to accommodate and respond to the needs on the day. Uh, I think that that's a very particular skill and a, a particular sensitivity is required in order to succeed at this school. Um, and to make sure the children get what they need throughout the day. Well, I'm very proud of the work we do at Willowbank School because we take children who have been in sometimes a state of, of despair uh, and where they've been very, very stuck and they've not made any progress in school. So we take these children who are quite hesitant about coming into school and then we put them slowly, slowly into our classes and they begin to learn and they begin to remember who they really are and what it is they want to achieve. I think that and I hope that the students feel stronger when they leave than they do when they come and they're certainly achieving more and enjoying more um, and that's, that's a, a really wonderful thing to be part of. We are part of the Children's Hospital School based at the Leicester Royal Infirmary and we support all children who are in uh, with their education whilst they are in hospital. Our experienced team of staff will work with all children of all abilities right through from foundation stage up to A levels and we'll support them in their education the best way that we can. When our staff approach the children on the ward, they approach with um, a very relaxed, calm manner and introduce themselves and talk to them a little bit about the hospital school and what we can offer them, how we can plan a personal educational plan for them while they are here. A lot of the young people that attend our school are here for such a short amount of time. It could be one day, it could be two days, it could be up to a week. So we need to get to know them quite quickly. All pupils can access their virtual learning environments within the classroom because we have the network facilities to do this. For some children, when they are in hospital, it's quite a stressful environment for them to be in, receiving medications. And so providing school offers them a bit of normality. It, it does take their mind off of why they are in hospital and it, it relieves the stress of missing out on huge chunks of work if they, because they're in hospital. Um, Oakham House is the adolescent psychiatric unit. We have 10 beds here for young people between the ages of 11 up to 18. So the young people who are here at Oakham House are inpatients. So they are uh, patients that are receiving therapy and treatment 24 hours a day. And part of that is, um, part of that programme is the educational input. And the education staff are very much part of the multidisciplinary team and we review their care and we contribute to the assessments and diagnoses. Um, discussions, transition plans and, and um, communicate with the parents as well, a big part of it. 
every day we f we start as a new day and our approach is to try and make sure that each young person feels that they've achieved something and may taken a small step forward whatever that might be in every lesson that we have and each time it's about challenging the negative thoughts that the young people have all the time about how they they might be feeling that they're failing, they might be frightened, they might be um, feeling that they're not as good as somebody else and all the time we, we're fighting that negative self-talk that goes on. We have to be very conscious of health and safety because the young people who come here, m many of them, the majority of them um, self-harm and um, many of them are suicidal. So we have to be very vigilant about the equipment that we use. The other thing that we're able to do is there are young people who um, are very ill and suicidal and cannot see a future and the very experience of being a teacher is a hopeful thing. So every conversation that we have with somebody because we're teachers, we, we're there because we're investing in the future which means there is a future for these young people. Outreach facility of the Children's Hospital School uh, teaches children at their own homes uh, when they're too poorly to go to school. It may be due to a physical illness or perhaps a mental health illness that prevents them from attending their mainstream school. One of the most important qualities for an outreach teacher is to maintain the focus on the child and the fact that they are ill. Uh, having an understanding of their illness will help a teacher to, to deliver their materials in a specific way. It's also important for us to remember that you are a guest in the family's home and so you know, following any cultural practices and being mindful of such things is also a really important factor of, of the outreach service. Safeguarding is another significant issue for teachers out on outreach. Um, it's mandatory for all children to have an appropriate adult with them in the family home at all times and that safeguards the child but also the member of staff. Another significant part of the outreach work is to liaise with medical staff, um, consultants and also the child's home school and we support the reintegration of students who have been absent from school for a sustained period of time. The impact that outreach has on the students that we teach is phenomenal. They maintain their progress and maintain their interest in their studies and it also allows them to access education despite their illness. Um, a lot of children return back to school re-engaged with education because they realise, having had an absence from school, how valuable it is. The other piece of legislation that is important in our work is the legislation in terms of young people missing education. This is quite important because many of our young people are vulnerable and do not have the family support systems perhaps that will enable them to access education. Equally of course, they may have a very supportive family but perhaps the environment in which they are being educated is not addressing their needs in the way that's required at the time. This is not meant as a criticism to mainstream schools but of course mainstream schools are geared to support education for young people who are quite robust uh, and if we look at the educational system critically we can perhaps say that for many young people within a complex society mainstream education simply does not address their complex needs. Within the hospital school environment and in particular within our school we address the needs of people who have medical, emotional or psychiatric challenges. Of course we get young people who uh, have ADHD, OCD, who are on the autistic spectrum and because of that they have experienced difficulties that have manifested themselves in emotional or other ways that have stopped them from accessing their ordinary education or indeed engaging with life in an age-appropriate way.